Palestine had that land. The whole there. thing was right. And then from and then in 1949, because of laws, another government moved a certain type of people into that land. Mm -hmm. that what you know today is as the Israelis into that land. Right. And now because they are like the bank of the Western allies, right. you understand? And, and because of the power and the influence that they had right. with America and other countries, mm -hmm. they are trying to oppress Palestine. You understand? And really, that war over there is because People say it comes out of we are at the last days. That's just really going on. And that land that's over there, right. it's our land. Right. You understand? Right. Just like they were moving Palestinians out their land, in 70 AD, we were, our people were, were moved out of that land and we fled into Africa. Right, you understand? And that's how we ended up, you know, amongst the Africans, right? You understand? Who sold us into slavery to the so-called white man, our person. Right. Now, my understanding of what I've seen... Just a little louder, brother. Okay, my understanding of what I've seen is the... In Nigeria, there are some people that they're known as Jews. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they've been practicing a long time. In Ethiopia, you know, the, the people that were looking in the mountains, they went and brought out, took to Israel right. for them to understand what I believe is it. Uh, and they didn't know how to really read it because it's so ancient. Right. Right. Written in another, another right. language. Right. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of those? Yeah. That, okay, what, what the so called Ethiopian that calls right. himself a Jew, Nigerian that calls himself a Jew, those right. are bastardized doctrines. Okay. of the true biblical text that is found in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Like, you understand? Yeah. This once again, when a people when a people is conquered, like our people has been right. conquered, when we're conquered, the other nations, they have uh, councils among themselves, so to speak, to divide us and start to gain power over us. You understand? Just like, like I said, the so-called Jewish prime, primary example. Judaism ain't got nothing to do with the Bible or Christ or anything. Right. You understand? True. So the whole thing with the Ethiopians, that comes from a bastardized, a bastardized understanding of, of King Solomon with the, uh, what was the Ethiopian queen, Queen Sheba. That's where that all comes from, those Ethiopian Jews. But they're all lies and false doctrines. Right. You understand? But because our people... Our people meaning Negroes, meaning uh, the West Indian brothers, meaning the Cubans, meaning Puerto Ricans, because our people reject the knowledge of who we really are, what's in our blood. True. Other nations take our culture and doctrine and take it to themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, to be quite honest with you, brother, we're not African. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I tell you a couple of reasons why we're not African. We're not African because Africa was named after a so-called white man, Neil Skidman's Africans. Right. So how can we be African? And they like to pull us all together and say we're African because we're all brown. But you know, on Vietnam, they got Chinese people that look brown. That's probably darker than me and you. Not only in Vietnam, come on, Philippines. Let's go. China. Say somewhere. China. Come on now. So it's not about the color in your skin. You know what I'm saying? You can't just call every dark skin brother African. That makes absolutely no sense. What you gonna say about the Aborigines? The, Ab the Aborigines, exactly. Yeah. They dark skin too, so they African. No, no, that's not how. So you, like, you ain't seen the trail to show they came African. Exactly. I'm saying what our people have to do is actually understand the bloodline lineage of our people. The so-called yeah. Negro here today is traced back to a brother named Judah, who is the son of Israel. You understand? The blacks and the Spanish and Native American Indians in America and South America and scattered all over the world, we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. So to be honest with you, just to be honest with you, I don't give a damn about what's going on in Palestine. I can't wait till they destroy Palestine, and I can't wait till the Lord destroy all of our enemies in the Middle East so we can return back to our land, because this is not our land. No, no, I, I seen something the other day, brother, that amazed me. Go ahead. They're trying to say that uh, all North Africa is now Middle East. Say again? They call it Middle East now. But okay, that's yeah, Middle East. I mean, I mean, it's just attached to the continent. I mean, yeah, but once, you know, once the co it gets colonized and once certain, you know, means powers and countries get an authority, they divide the lands. That's in the Bible, too. It says our enemies had divided the lands and removed people, uh, removed nations' landmarks. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Just like, like this, they're supposed to be Native Americans all over here. Seminole Indians, right. uh, give you these, uh, talk, talk Indians down here. Right. All these black Indians, you go down, they slaughtered them. Right. You know, man, and, and this is, this is the disservice right now. I understand we had the Malcolm X festival and everything like that, but I'm gonna be quite honest with you, brother. 
You see, all the Africanism here is a dishonor to the Native Americans who actually own this land because why? They are actually our people and our brothers. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, when you trace the lineage, not the skin color, but the lineage and the nationality of us and Africans, we are not them. They are not our people, but we have adopted their culture because our culture was ripped from us. Did they not say, did they not say they are. that we are a different people? Oh, they did. But real Africans know that we ain't the same. They the ones saying, y'all are going to sign out. Say that again. The African, the people who are over there, known as African, say to us that we're not African. Exactly. They know we're not. And listen, that's how, that's what made it so easy for them to take over the for those African tribes, those on the West Coast Africa, it made it easy for them to come and kidnap us and because we wasn't because we wasn't with them anymore. Right. They already knew we wasn't on the same people. Sure. We was hiding from the Roman Empire amongst a darker race of people. That's all it was. Because the white man can't tell who are African or who are right. Israelite. Right. He don't know. Right. You understand? So right. you know, that's what happened. But uh, the more yeah. we went up to that to know that, you know, some of our leaders have failed us. You know what I'm saying? Commander Junior Hunter is raising up men like you see the men here. It's raising up men that give blacks and Hispanic native enemies their true identity back. 